On today's Your Aquarium Questions Answered, it's all about betas. Stay tuned. All right guys, welcome to another little segment called Your Aquarium Questions Answered, or Yaka for short. And today's question, what are the best tank mates for my betta fish? All right, so what fish can you put with your betta? So first let's talk male bettas. Bettas, betas. Tell me in the comments which one you use, bettas or betas. So, for well first let's talk tank size, right? If you have a betta fish, if you have anything less than a five gallon tank, one, you should definitely have at least a five gallon tank. If you're thinking about putting a tank mate in something with less than a five gallon, you shouldn't have any tank mates. You shouldn't really have a beta in there. The little beta bowls, beta jars, those are straight trash can. Those are dumpster fires for fish. They're not good habitats. Don't do that. If you've already done it and you want to upgrade, fantastic. A betta fish typically needs to be in at least a five gallon tank. So let's go ahead and start there. So for your five gallon aquarium with your betta fish, I like to think of things that aren't in the same part of the water column as the betta, because they typically are be more aggressive. I want to, betas like to be alone. They like to be by themselves. Let's try to put something that's not gonna be in the same part of the tank as the fish. So an easy one is bottom feeders. So what bottom feeders could you put in the bottom of a five gallon tank? that maybe the fish won't mess with. I really like knee right snails for this. So all of knee rights, zebra knee rights, things like that, I think they go well. They're not typically, the bait is not gonna be able to eat that thing. So it's less likely to cause any issues in the aquarium. And they're not likely to breed as long as you're not putting salt in there for some reason. A lot of the knee rights only breed in brackish. So you're not gonna have a lot of babies all over the tanks, which is nice. And they're gonna help clean up a little bit, right? So that's a plus. You could probably get away with doing a dwarf crawfish, like a Mexican orange or, or blue crawfish in that tank. And that's the, and then one. And that's the most I'd ever add to that tank um, at that size, is those two. I mean, you could, there's a couple other options out there, but I like those because I know they're not gonna get eaten, they're not gonna get messed with, and I ain't gotta worry about anything, anything else, right? So, what about Female bettas, same thing, nothing different for a five gallon tank. The, the female's not gonna be super aggressive, but it's more about just overall living space for the fish in a small aquarium. Stick with something super small and some bottom feeders and you'll be super safe. So what about a 10 gallon aquarium? You got a 10 gallon tank, you got a beta in there, what can you put with it? So if you've got a 10 gallon aquarium with a beta in it, you can probably do a, a tiny bit more, right? We're still trying to keep the stock agency relatively low. Maybe you want to do some ember tetras. They get a little smaller than an inch. Might be a pretty good fish. I know they swim sort of in the same part of the water column, but they're a little bit more active than betas. As long as they don't go in the beta sort of territory, I think you're going to be fine. Micro rasboras is another option. Again, it's one of those fish. You're kind of swimming around. They're typically towards the middle of the tank. You're not going to have a lot of issues with the beta. So I would recommend using those. And then obviously you could also go with the bottom feeder here. And I would typically go with one. I do like coolie loaches in this example. Coolie loaches are a great little cleanup crew on the bottom that kind of helps pick up extra food and some stuff and typically gonna hide out a lot of the times. So you're not gonna have a lot of issues with the beta that way. Now, what about if you have, you want more female betas? Like a lot of people nowadays are trying to do sorority tanks, which is basically a group of female betas. What size tank do those need to go in and whatnot? I like to put those in like a, a 29 gallon tank and above, typically for that. Now just mind you, when you're adding these new tank mates, they might not all have the same dietary requirements. So if you're adding some other fish in there, make sure you're adding some food specifically for that fish because they might not be eating it. I hear all the time people adding algae eaters to a tank that has no algae. If that's what you're adding and it's not anything else, what are, what are you feeding it? It's probably why it's not doing so well, right? So typically for betas, you're feeding some probably some type of floating pellet. Feed some sinking stuff that's typically made for those types of fish, right? And that's my advice. So that's another little segment of your aquarium questions answered. I'll see you next time.